Yeah, it would have mixed I. I tried to get him to come back, but he just got in a taxi and left. He's out. Good. Now you can tell me what the hell you were doing. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Yep, I think you might have had enough, don't you? Oh, no, I'm only just getting my second win. Oh, come on, you just go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, yeah, all right, right. I'm, I'm always the one with the problem. Therese, none of this was planned. You plan everything, Paul. Uh, I might have set up the initial meeting a couple of weeks ago. He asked me to come along just to handle the paperwork. Uh, yeah, and then Max found Chloe charming. No, we all know what that means. I made him laugh. You remember what a sense of humour is, right? Uh, Chloe, I don't think you're in the position to push back right now. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Like the thing is, by the end of the meeting, he called her Amy. And why on earth didn't you correct him? Because we had him on the hook. Oh. I don't know if you've noticed, Therese, but we're not exactly swimming in investors since the Mel fiasco. It's not like he would have been offended. Yeah, maybe not, but I couldn't exactly admit why my own daughter had quit. We thought that was the end of it. But then he kept asking for me, Amy, to come to meetings. Right, so you did all this for the good of the company. No, no, I paid Chloe cash to keep up the act. <sighs> oh. And to keep it from me. We didn't rip him off. No one got hurt. You lied, Paul. Uh, All this talk about honesty and you're just constantly lying to no, me. No, no, no. This is not about us. This is about saving Robinson Pie. Oh, you don't get it, do you? I'll see you in my office in 10 minutes. <laughs>